Morning Devotion with Father C.K. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friend, I'm sure you're well. It is Monday, the ninth day of May, in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2022. We are in week four of Easter. And our gospel passage today is taken from John chapter 10, verses 1 to 10. Through today's gospel, the church reminds us of our call to become good shepherds of God's flock and good sheep of his parishes and invite us to pray for vocations to the priesthood, the diaconate, and the consecrated life. In today's gospel, the two brief parables show us Jesus first as a selfless, caring shepherd who provides for his sheep protection and life itself. The second as our unique gateway, the sheep gate to eternal salvation. Besides guiding his flock to eternal life, as the good shepherd, Jesus is himself the gateway to eternal life. The first parable of today's gospel contrasts Jesus, the true shepherd, with the fake shepherds, thieves, and robbers. Jesus gives us warning against false shepherds and false teachers in his church. Jesus' love and concern for each one of us must be accepted with trust and serenity because he alone is our shepherd and no one else deserves our undivided commitment. As a true shepherd, he leads his sheep, giving them the food and protection only Jesus, the good shepherd, can provide and he protects us and leads us to true happiness. The second parable, Jesus compares himself to the shepherd and to the gate. The first title represents his ownership because shepherd is the true owner of the sheep. The second title represents his leadership. Jesus is the gate, the only way in or out. He is the one mediator between God and mankind. All must go through him, through his church, in order to arrive in heaven. By identifying himself with a sheep gate, thus gives the assurance that whoever enters the pen through him will be safe and well catered for. Jesus is the living door to his father's house and father's family, the door into the father's safety and into the fullness of life. It is through Jesus, the door, that we come into the sheepfold where we are protected from the wolves of life. There is safety and security in being a Christian. There is a spiritual, emotional, and psychological security and safety when we live within Jesus and his church, within the protectiveness of Christ, Christian friends, and a Christian family. 
To this effect, my dear friend, we need to become good shepherds and good leaders. Everyone who is entrusted with the care of others is a shepherd. Hence, pastors, parents, teachers, doctors, nurses, government officials, and caregivers, among others, are all shepherds. We become good shepherds by loving those entrusted to us, praying for them, spending our time, talents and blessings for their welfare, and guarding them from physical and spiritual dangers. Parents must be especially careful of their duties towards their children, giving them good example and instruction and training them in Christian principles. We need to become good shepherds in the fold of Jesus. The Good Shepherd, our local parish, is our sheepfold, and our pastors are our shepherds. Jesus is the high priest. The bishops are the successors of the apostles. The pastors and their deacons are their helpers, and the parishioners are the sheep. Hence, as the good sheep of the parish, parishioners are expected to hear and follow the voice of our shepherds through their homilies, Bible classes, counseling, and advice to receive the spiritual food given by our pastors through our regular participation in the Holy Mass and frequenting of the sacraments and the participation in the prayer services, renewal programs, and the missions that they offer. And number three, cooperate with our pastors by giving them positive suggestions for the welfare of the parish, by encouraging them in their duties, by offering them loving constructive correction when they are found misbehaving or failing in their duties and always by praying for them. And number four, actively participate in the activities of various councils, ministries, and parish associations. Finally, we need to pray for vocations, new vocations, and the existing vocations. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Monday.